Hey guys, what's up? It's Monko Zonky. So for this video, I thought I'd do a progress video, and for the first time, I'm kind of going back to, I guess, what I did during my Maxcape series where I recorded clips and played them instead of just doing any kind of live commentary. So these clips are, I guess, the most interesting things that happened to me during the past day or so. First of all, during that farm run, if you didn't catch that, I got 34 mil farming XP. And I thought that was kind of worth doing just because um, every 2 mil farming XP that you do, you get an adventures log update. And I guess it's just a little bit of progress towards that 200 mil farming, even though I'll probably never get it. But next, this is a bit more exciting. This is 85 divination, which is really cool. That means I can move on to the next spot. I no longer have to stay at this mage training arena spot, and I'll get slightly better XP per hour, too. Of course the experience doesn't increase all that much, I've been to the next spot and I have not been all that impressed with how fast it is, but of course, I mean everything helps a little bit. And I also made a bit of money, it says um, 10.4 mil there, but uh, energy did not sell for nearly as much as it said, it sold for quite a bit below the GE price, so unfortunately I didn't make as much money as I could have if it was selling for the right amount, so yeah I just made my boon there, so um, I really don't want to forget that again because that just means it's going to be a little fit, bit faster at the next area. And anyway, I'm going to go to the GE and kind of sell the energy here. So, um, of course, it didn't insta sell. Like even if I, even if I went it down to the price where it insta bought, it still would not insta sell. If that makes sense to you, so that was a bit unfortunate. But that's just the way the GE works sometimes. Not really a whole lot you can do about it. But um, luckily those energies did sell overnight, so I did eventually end up making some profit off of Divination. And I'm just going to continue to do that as I go through the levels. Once I go from 85 to 90, I'm just going to sell all that energy. I don't really care that much about using it. I know it is a little bit faster if you do use your energy, but I'm just going to sell it because I'm honestly not all that stressed. And anyway, here's another penguin. I think I get two penguins during this video. Might just be one, I'm not sure. but. Yeah, I just spotted a pink one uh, right after I clicked the recording button, so I just nabbed him really fast. And this is how you get to Dragon Tooth Island, which is the next divination spot from 85 to 90. And this is where I'm going to be camping for quite some time, so that should be fun. I don't know about that, but anyway, um, what's nice about this spot is you can actually teleport pretty close to here, which means um, I can keep using those Chronicle Fragments to turn them in for XP. And after level 85, it's actually pretty good XP to turn in those Chronicle Fragments. I've done it once and I got about 2,000 divination XP, and that's almost as much as a divination daily challenge, and it's like really, really easy to do, so I figured I might as well do that. But anyway, here's the new island, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, they don't give much more XP, I think the energies give like 10 XP when you collect them instead of 9 XP, and then when you turn them into the rift, it's not very much more than it used to be anyway. But I'll be able to make some cool stuff, I guess the sign of the Porter 5. Um, that might be useful. I'm planning on using that if I ever do some Slayer and stuff because you can, you know, bank certain Slayer drops with that. So that would be really nice when I go back to Slayer to have those signs of the Porter. And here's the second penguin that I got during the recording. I don't know why. Those are the only two penguins I've found all week and they're both on video. But I was, I was just turning into my Dungeoneering Challenge here and this gets me over 50 mil Dungeoneering XP even though I don't show it. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed and farewell.